Yo, 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 what's going on at the fight? Where's your boy Money back with another one, fam? And this one here is on two future Hall of Famers in this fight game. We have Turns T Bug Crawford, the three division world champion, the former undisputed world champion, the current WO welterweight world champion, the man that just ducked Earl the True Spence Jr. Then we have Earl the True Spence Jr., the king of the welterweight division, the WBC, the IBF, and the Super WBA Unified World Champion, the man that was trying to bring um, undisputed welterweight to the fans. But what we want Earl Spence to do is, EJ, come out and show the receipts on this boy, man. I repeat, Earl Spence Jr., if you could, champ, just to put Bud Crawford ass on blast and to make it official like a mother, mother whistle, come out and, and expose, you know, the negotiation contracts of what he was receiving, what you was receiving, what's the three things that y'all switched up for him so, you know, we can make this fight happen for us, the fans, and for you guys, the fighters, something that was going to be special and go down in history, bro. Because we know Terrence Bull Crawford is capping. We know he is capping. And if you was to come out and give us that info, if you could, champ, if it's, if it's, if it's, if it's you know, in your reach to do so, right, we would appreciate if you come out and expose this boy with the receipts to show that he was getting upfront money and back end money, you was getting upfront money and back end money, and you did everything you had to do to try to make this fight possible. Now, Turns Bud Crawford, he came out, and this is the thing that, that catches Turns Bud Crawford up, everybody. And this the, is the, the foot up the ass, everybody. Bud Crawford came out, and he telling people, okay, Earl Spence want the fight, I want the fight. It is the, the suits that's holding up the fight, right, y'all? He said it's the suits that's holding up the fights. Well, in this article in ESPN, Terrence Bud Crawford out of his own mouth, everybody said that um, Earl Spence was nowhere to be found when he was trying to make the fight happen. As if Earl Spence don't want the fight. He said nothing about the suits. He said nothing about the suits. He blamed Earl the True Spence Jr. So in one breath, he's blaming the suits. Then in the next breath, he's blaming Earl Spence, y'all. You know, and that's something I just can't rock with because I don't believe it. I just don't believe it, everybody. I just don't believe it. And a lot of us don't believe it, right? So what Terrence Bull Crawford said was this, everybody. I'm excited about this opportunity, Crawford said. I was really looking forward to the Earl Spence fight. I started communicating with boxer, uh, boxing manager Al Heyman and PBC back in June. And unfortunately, they represent a fighter in Earl Spence who didn't want the fight as bad as I did. He said Earl Spence didn't want the fight as bad as I did. I agreed to all their BS, and they've been dragging their ass for months. Spence was nowhere to be found while I was trying to make the deal. Crawford continued, I explained to Al Heyman and Earl that I was going to fight before the end of the year. David Ebenezer is a very tough task, negative. He's knocked out his last six opponents, and this guy is dangerous. Once I'm successful against Ebenezer, my plans is still the same. Whoop Earl Spence ass. Terrence Crawford, that's all cap, bro. That's all cap. So Earl Spence just came out with his shit, and he exposing it. He said, you've been having them waiting around for months. You haven't been saying shit. And now you fucked up his fight, Earl, I mean, Terrence Boy Crawford, for November, bro. And now you think people are supposed to believe you because you're trying to get the love. You're trying to go out there and say the shit first, bro. You so wrong, bud. You wrong as two left shoes, bro. You wrong as two left shoes, bro. You know you didn't want to fight Earl Spence, man. Ain't no way in hell you going over there and they just go fuck you over. Turns Bud Crawford, bro. And if so, how about you show the receipts, bud? Everybody, if Turns Bud Crawford agreed to nothing but 35% and, and that's all he was getting, how about he show the receipts now since he's not fighting Earl Spence? Show the receipts, bud, since you're not fighting Earl Spence. It should be easy now, right? Right, everyone? That'll sum up everything, bro. That'll get people off your ass. That'll make people stop talking about you. All you have to do is show the receipts. Show the receipts, bud. Show the receipts, bud Crawford. You can't show the receipts because you ain't got no receipts. You ain't got no receipts. Um, BLK Prime reached out to you. They gave you $10 million, supposedly giving you $10 million. And you said, hmm, $10 million for David Avenesian? 
or take this money up front away from my back end money against Earl Spence, knowing Earl Spence might beat the shit out of me and I might end up getting upwards from 15 to 20 million, or I could just take this 10 million up front, supposedly 10 million, and go beat the shit out of David Evanesian because he don't stand a chance with me, bro. He don't stand a chance. And turns Boy Crawford, he signed that contract for that 10 million. Right? He signed that contract for that 10 million for the lesser opponent. Understand what I'm saying? The lesser opponent, because he know he finna beat the shit out of that boy and snatch that easy $10 million of that $10 million on the table. You feel me? If that $10 million is for real and it's on the table, he finna beat the shit out of David Evanesia. He finna beat the shorts and the draws off his motherfucking ass. He go style and profile on him. He go stop him around six rounds. And he go walk away with a quick 10. You know what I'm saying? With a quick 10. You know, when it come to Earl Spence, you know, you gonna have to work for that motherfucker 15 to 20, whatever it was gonna be. But it was going to be um, eight digits. You best believe that. It's going to be a high eight digits at that. You feel me? So now we had a position now, man, to where, you know, this fight probably not even take place. This fight probably not even take place now. So before people start trying to point the finger at Earl Spence, because a lot of y'all cats is trying to point the finger at EJ, trying to make it look like it's his fault why the fight didn't take place, trying to run with the narrative of what turns Will Crawford talking about that. They didn't want to, you know, give him the fight. But when he came out talking about he agreed to everything. How can you agree to everything, but you didn't sign nothing? Like, how can you agree to everything, but then turn around and sign for another fight, bro? It don't make no sense. It really don't make no sense. You know, and, and you know, Blue say you signed that thing within one day, which I can't really, I can't really, you know, believe that you signed a contract in one day for $10 million. As if y'all wasn't talking, getting things together, working things out and, and shit like that. You know what I mean? It's just hard to believe that a man can go sign an eight-figure contract and this company is so quick to throw you 10 M's just to get you on their platform, not knowing what's really going on, you know, not knowing how to handle this shit, not promoting it right for December the 10th, you know what I mean? And you just go out there and just get 10 million right off the back? Nah, 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 Mr. Postman. Your team been talking to that, to that company. They been talking to that company, you know what I mean? Your name backdoor Bud, and you backdoor EJ now. You backdoor the shit out them dudes. And now you sitting feeling like you in control. You know what I'm saying? You sitting around feeling like you in control now, like you got the power. You understand what I'm saying? Because that's what you want all along, bro. You don't like that, that you can control the situation with Earl Spence. You know you ain't the A-side. You know you ain't getting the majority of the money. You know Earl is the top shotter. You know going into the fight, Earl is the A-side of things of that nature. And you couldn't handle that, bro. Let's just keep it real. You couldn't handle another man being the A-side over you, bro. You feel me? When Earl Spence come out and things of that nature, you didn't like the situation, how everything was going, how they control the shots. But, you know what I mean? That's just the nature of the beast, bro. When it was your time to control shit, you control shit. Now you're coming up against a nigga that got a bigger fan base and just more I mean, noticeable than you, bro. But inside the ring is going to be inside the ring, bro. Flat out. If you really believe in yourself, if you really believe in yourself like you say you did, you know what I mean? But now we at this point, you have to prove all that shit that you're talking about. You have to come out and show some receipts and show us that, okay, well, I did accept X, Y, and Z. To show us that, okay, well, the nigga ain't lying. But now, if you can't show that shit, bro, you all cap. You all cap. You never want to fight. You sit up there, you, you stall. You see Earl Spence was on his shit, bro, and you ain't want to get your motherfucking eyeball taken like my dude Marlowe say, bro. You ain't want to get your motherfucking eyeball taken. Earl Spence is fit to take the motherfucking eyeballs about your ass. Flat out. That's exactly what it was, and you ain't want it. You know what I'm saying? You ain't want it at the end of the day, bro. So when, you know, we looking at the situation, um, everybody that try to point the finger at Earl Spence, break that motherfucker. You understand? As soon as you try to point that finger at Earl Spence, break that goddamn finger. Because Earl Spence is the most stand-up dude in fucking boxing, bro. He's the one that was trying to give us this undisputed fight at the fucking what's weight division. He's the one that been killing himself to keep the weight down, to go out there and fight turns Bill Crawford for all the titles and do what he said he wanted to do, be undisputed, and, and you know, give boxing what it, what it deserves, bro. Give boxing what it deserves. But y'all boys, y'all don't know, y'all don't know how to, you know, show real love and, and, and you know, point out the real from the fake, homie. Y'all don't know how to point out the real from the fake. EJ been stand up since he been in this goddamn game. The boy ain't changed up yet. That's why I fucks with him heavy. You know what I mean? You know a real one when you see one. Earl Spence did everything he had to do to make this fight happen. Even shut his motherfucking mouth. Not go back and forth with this dude. Take less money. You know what I'm saying? Just, just, you know, he, he was compromising, bro. He was compromising. 
Now, like I said, I want EJ and them to come out with the receipts to expose this boy. Steven Espinosa came out and already exposed some things. They got a video coming on that. But at the end of the day, man, Turnsville Crawford is a fraud. His team is a fraud, bro. He never wanted to fight. You know, he's just ducking. He's ducked. Like, a lot of people were trying to tell me this shit. I wasn't listening. I was giving Bud the benefit of the doubt. I ain't want to run that man through the, through, through, through the grinder like that. But now, he got to get all his work, bro. He got to get all his work. Turns Bud Crawford, you duck Earl Spence. You talking about you agree to everything, but you never signed no contract. Now, Earl Spence going to come out and expose your ass with the real receipts. And then, you know, everything gets to take care of itself. Everything gets to take care of itself. So, good luck to you in your next fight, even though you don't need it because you're going to beat the shit out of that C-level fighter. You know what I'm saying? And good luck to you on the rest of your career. Shouts out to EJ, the big dog, the real, you know what I mean, the real motherfucker that's, that's trying to make things happen and shaking his boxing game and, and the real one that want to fight the best. Keep doing your thing, King. Make your next move, your best move on your chest, boy. Go to 154 if that's what you want to do. Flat out. Till then, it's your boy Money. It's the NSBC moving. And everybody safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. You want to donate OG Money on Cash App. Trey Hampton 52 at gmail.com on PayPal. If not, just tell a friend. Tell a friend. Hit that subscribe button. Like, comment, share the videos. And yeah, I know how your boy get down, man. Big dog status, family.